and I heard, as it were, the noise of engines, one of the four invaders saying, Nachos! And I saw, and behold, an Urken invader. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four invaders, and I looked, and behold, a Sur unit, and its name was Gur, and sat with him was Zim, and Doom followed with him. So, as you can tell, I'm very, very excited for uh, to talk about the Invader Zim uh, Night of the Enter the Florpus uh, <laughs> trailer. Yeah, I am totally all in on this. I have been waiting for this. I think we all have been waiting for this. We've been hoping beyond hope to see this. I cannot wait for this. Let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about this. This just grand trailer in all of its glory, and just gush about it, guys. Let's just gush about it. Now, admittedly, there's no voice in the tray. There's no, like, um... There's no, like, voices. You don't hear Gazim or anything. It's just sound put over music. Uh, I mean, music put over images. Which I'm guessing is because it's still... We're getting close to the end production of this. Um, and, I'm, and I'll... And I'll throw that theory out further in a moment. But it is so good to see Zim back in animation. It's so good to see Gaz and Dib. And, yeah, so the story is, is that, um, the story is, is that Zim is starting to feel less confident in himself after he discovers that the Tallest have no intention of coming to Earth to help him reclaim Earth. So, this is all about Zim getting back into the swing of things and learning, you know, and reteaching himself to be an invader. Which is cool, it's pretty much, it's, the Zim, ahem, <clears throat> the Zim rises. Yes, um... Also, what's interesting to note is that a lot of this looks like it's going to fall- a lot of this has a lot of inspiration from the Oni Press Invader Zim comics. Because there are scenes in here of, like, Dib sitting in front of his, uh, chair for, like, ages and he looks all messed up along with Gaz, who's playing a guitar and has a hazmat suit, or, excuse me, Gazmat suit. Um, that's not a pun, that's actually in there. Ah, puns are funny. Anyway, um... The point is, is that in that story arc, which is actually written by Eric Trueheart and Jonan Vasquez uh, from the Oni Press comics, is that in that story, it's Zim revealing he has a new plan that um, Dib wants to stop, but he's so gross and disgusting, he can't help himself, so it's him trying to get back into the swing of things. So it looks like that for both Zim and Dib in this story. I also like, yeah, it is following, it does look like it's following a loose adaptation of the Oni Press comic. Which I really like. I actually have the first three volumes in my uh, comic collection, which I've thought about reviewing, but it's really just a multitude of just anthology stories, and I don't know if any of you guys would be curious about that. But long story short, the Invader Zim comics are just amazing. Now, the other thing of why I said this is probably still in, in production is because a lot of the animation doesn't look all that clean. Now, a lot of it does look, some of it does look like classic Zim, but other, uh, other points, it looks like um, the animation almost looks like fan animation. Now, I don't know if it's because they're doing, they um, have a different company behind this, which I don't think they do, um, but a lot of this is, um, a lot of this does feel like, um, like, it's a lot more cleaner, but at the same time, my brain is trying to mentally register, oh yeah, this is Invader Zim, and not a fan-made thing, um, which I'm not saying that's bad, I'm not saying that's bad at all, I'm just saying that I had to, like, mentally refocus myself, because I really had to, like, I really remember Zim as, like, this dark and brooding, uh, like, the inkiness to the animation to it. And, again, it's a contrast to the insanity of it, but, yeah, this feels a little too clean, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, this is still in, you know, this is still in some form of production. That's probably why we didn't hear a lot of voices. In fact, the only voice we had was more like a hissing from what I guess is the Florpus, a weird bug creature. Um, and it looks like Zim is going to be more or less pumping himself back up because he wants to prove that he's still an invader, you know, he's an great invader. Um, yeah. I mean, like, you didn't even, and the other thing is that, what I like about this trailer is that you didn't even need, um, people talking in the trailer to understand what's going on. You just need, you know, the scenes clearly tell you that Zim and, both Zim and Dib are really out of commission, and now they're ready to kick, they're back to kick some ass, which is fine by all of us. We've been waiting for this for ages, and to see, you know, those animatics were, those voiceovers were really cool, but to have an actual trailer, it gives us life! It gives us life! <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. 
um, anyway, but yeah, this, um, I cannot tell you how excited I am for, uh, to have this, um, in, uh, you know, to be out there, and to finally have this back, and, you know, also we're getting Rugrats returning, you know, the Rugrats are getting a reboot, um, you know, the Hey Arnold Jungle movie was fantastic, I think it was absolutely beautiful, uh, but I'm still hoping that maybe we'll get season six, but even if we don't, that was enough, even if it doesn't lead to season six, it's a nice little, um, it's a nice send-off to the show. It's a nice little ending to the show. Just regardless. That's how much I love Jungle Movie. Um, and hopefully, you know, maybe Invader, you know, Nickelodeon will give Invader Zim, um, a boost. You know, maybe it'll give them a boost and give them a chance to do the show. I don't know if Joan and Vasquez would want to continue because, yeah, Vasquez is not a people person. I'm not trying to be, sound like a dick or anything, but if you know the guy, you know that he's not really a people person and he doesn't play well with studios. It's probably, um, that's one of the reasons why Nick and him parted ways in the first place. Um, but yeah, this, I'm, you know, this shows that, the, you know, Nickelodeon really wants them ratings and really wants to speak out to classic fans. You know, this, Rugrats coming back, um, the Rocco's Modern Life show, uh, Rocco's Modern Life uh, special coming, uh, coming soon. Um, and yeah, you know, all we need now is Danny Phantom, right? All we need now is uh, Danny Phantom, and we're all good. That's all we need. That is literally all we need, is Danny Phantom, but with Butch Hartman leaving, um, Nick having left Nickelodeon, I don't see that's a possibility. But yeah, that's the, well, how about, if we can't get Jim, if we can't get them, if we can't get Danny Phantom, any chance of my life as a teenage robot? Any chance of that? Or how about El Tigre? There you go, El Tigre. Or, I don't know, shit. Uh, well, those are the only two that come to mind, because Avatar and Legend of Korra are kind of done. Um, yeah, how about just, like, those are the only, like, if we can't get Danny Phantom, because that seems like a fleeting dream, how about, like, in My Life as a Teenage Robot, or El Tigre, or, I don't know, Chalk Zone would be cool to have a comeback. Yeah, definitely Chalk Zone. Um, absolutely, or how about Kablam? Maybe, that'd be cool. But anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of uh, the Invader Zim? What did you guys think of the Invader Zim trailer? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, I don't know if you did hate it. I doubt you did if you're watching this. Um, what did you think of the animation? Do you think it still needs work? Or do you, are you fine with it? Um, and what do you think the Florpus is? I have no, that's the thing I'm wondering about. It's like, what is the what the hell's the Florpus? Anyway. So, there you go, guys. Uh, once again, hope, comment below, let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.